Clayton, North Carolina is one of Raleigh's fastest growing suburbs. I'm Allison Warnerowski, owner of the W Real Estate Group, and we are gonna break down Clayton, North Carolina in under five minutes. Clayton has an estimated population of just over 30,000, which has nearly doubled over the last 10 years. It's located on the southeastern side of Raleigh, centered around Highway 70, with Interstate 40 to its west, and it's Raleigh's closest suburb to the beach. Without traffic, it's about 20 minutes into downtown Raleigh, 30 minutes to the RDU Airport, and 35 minutes to the Research Triangle Park. But traffic along I-40 can get pretty backed up during rush hour, so you'll wanna add an extra 20 minutes or more if you're commuting during those times. Clayton does have some major manufacturing facilities in Caterpillar, Griffles, and Norvo Nordisk, and many people do end up commuting into Raleigh for its surrounding areas for work. Clayton itself does not have any major colleges or universities, but it does have the popular Johnston County Community College just south of town. For kids, the public schools are in the Johnston County Public School System, which has become one of the best school systems around and is one of the main drivers for Clayton's surge in population. Many of the schools are newly built or renovated as well. Clayton is one of Raleigh's suburbs with a quaint historical downtown. It has some very popular local restaurants, breweries, and bars, and it holds many events in its downtown area. Flowers Plantation is another up-and-coming entertainment space, as it already has quite a few stores and restaurants, as well as one of the nicest YMCAs you'll ever see. And it has a major development underway called the Waterfront District, which will be a massive development with condos, apartments, retail, restaurants, open space, and more, which will be a hub for entertainment in the area. But if you're looking for major sources of entertainment, you'll need to travel into Raleigh and its surrounding areas for things like concerts and sporting events. For outdoor recreation, Clayton has some really great parks, many of which are newly built or renovated. The Clayton Municipal Park has a state-of-the-art playground for kids, sports fields, and a massive open field with a stage that plays host to many events. And the East Clayton Community Park is a newly renovated park with a really cool playground. Clemens Educational State Forest has some absolutely beautiful hiking, and the Clayton River Walk on the News River Greenway connects to the 26 plus mile News River Greenway Trail that runs all the way to North Raleigh. So it's the perfect place for those wanting to go on a long bike ride or just to take a relaxing stroll next to the river. Now for those looking to go boating, the closest lakes are at least 45 minutes to hour drive. So many people in Clayton use their boats for the ocean versus the lake. The weather in Clayton is consistent with the area overall with highs in the 80s to 90s in the summer, 30s to 50s in the winter, and since south of Raleigh, you're less likely to get snow than in other areas of the Triangle. Even though Clayton is rapidly developing, it has a more rural feel than Raleigh and many of its suburbs. You'll find that Clayton is fairly spread out, much of it centered around Highway 70. But despite it being spread out, it does have some very large master plan communities and Flowers Plantation, the largest neighborhood in the Triangle, and Riverwood, which has its own set of restaurants and stores in the community as well. Since these are such large communities, the home types, ages, and values are all across the board, as you can find homes in the 300,000s to homes over a million dollars. Clayton also has some higher-end communities as well, such as Portofino, which has on-site equestrian facilities, and some of the nicest homes in the area, most valued between a million to two million dollars. One thing you'll find is that Clayton still has some very affordable housing for the area as its average price per square foot is one of the lowest in the area at around $190. And while there are still plenty of trees in Clayton, you will find more neighborhoods built in and around farmland with no natural vegetation. And since Clayton is closer to the coast, the land is flatter here than in Raleigh and more Western suburbs. Clayton's housing costs are not the only aspect of Clayton that is affordable, as its overall cost of living is 5% below the national average, and it's another main driver of its popularity. Its property tax is one of the highest in the area though, at $1.33 per $100 of property value, mostly due to the lack in density in the population. And North Carolina does have a 4.99% state income tax. But despite the taxes, Clayton is one of the most affordable areas of Raleigh. And while I can't imagine its low costs lasting much longer, Clayton currently is a great place to invest and get more for your money if you're willing to sacrifice a little bit on location in relation to the triangle as a whole. I hope this video gave you some insight into Clayton, North Carolina. And for more detailed information, please see our other videos on the Clayton Living In series. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe for more content. If you need assistance finding your next home, our real estate team would love to help you. I'm Alison Warnerowski and thank you for watching. We'll see you in our next video.